Hey, what's up guys? It's Big Tony here, and today we're going to build this cozy cottage house with a survival-based interior. Really quick before we start, if you want to add some additional detail to your house, I would recommend mixing in some cracked and mossy stone bricks with your stone bricks, and adding a little bit of granite to the chimney, and finally you can also add some white concrete powder to the white wool of the walls. All of this is completely optional, but it'll definitely improve your house. Alright, so to start go ahead and mark out a 9x11 rectangle. And ideally you want the ground at the front of the house to be one block higher, and this will just make it so the stairway isn't too long. Next go ahead and dig out that entire 9x11 rectangle down one block, and then we'll place a four block tall oak log in each corner. On the two shorter sides you can fill in the first level of spruce planks, then we'll have two 1x2 glass pane windows, one block away from the log. And then use spruce planks for the rest of the wall. Now we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. On the longer side that faces the front of the house, fill in the first three levels of stone bricks. And on the fourth level, we'll just add a spruce plank in the center and fill in the rest with stone bricks. On the back side, we'll use stone bricks with a dark oak plank in the center. Then a dark oak stair leading into the house and a dark oak door on that plank. Then we'll fill in the rest with stone bricks. Now on this front wall, one block away from that spruce plank, we'll place three ladders going up. Just like that. Now on each side, two blocks away from that wooden wall, we'll place a three block tall oak log. And that should be right in the center from front to back. Then let's fill in a three by five area of the floor with polished deep slate. Then from each of these oak logs, we'll place two glowstone going to the wall. And then we can fill in the rest of the floor with dark oak planks. Alright, I'll pause here for a second in case you missed anything. Now on this front staircase we'll start with a 2x3 of spruce planks. Then we'll place 3 more planks in front. Now let's place 2 rows of spruce stairs going up. Then on each side we'll place a 2x2 two two of stone bricks and one more in front, and then a stair on this corner. On the back side we'll place three oak logs on each side, one block away from the door. Then in front of that log we'll place a stone brick wall on each side with a fence on top. On top of that fence we'll place a stair facing inwards. Then place two top slabs on each side. Place two trap doors in the center, and then two trap doors on top of each slab, and two more slabs on top. So this is what it should look like. Next let's break out one layer of blocks along this wooden wall. Build up four stone bricks on each side and in the center. Then in between these gaps we'll place three stairs like so. Next place two upside down stairs and a slab in between at the top of each of these gaps. Then on each side we'll place a stone brick stair facing towards the center. And a full block in the middle. Then place three grass or dirt blocks in between. And place trap doors on those grass blocks. And then just place any flowers or plants that you'd like. Alright, so now let's just repeat this exact same thing on the other side.
Now let's build the floor here. First of all, place a trapdoor above those ladders. Then along this back wall, place upside down spruce stairs. And same with along the front wall, just skipping that trapdoor. Next, place a plank on top of each of these logs. Then place two top slabs connecting it to the wall. And then we'll go all around here with upside down stairs. So now you should have something that looks like this and we'll fill in the rest with slabs. And if you want to, you can break one of these trap doors on the back and place a lantern instead. Alright, so that's the base of our house and now we're going to start building those upper walls. Alright, let's start by placing a dark oak door right here and then surround that with white wool. We'll place a spruce button on the side of the door and then place three fence gates across the top. On each side of that wool, build up a four block tall oak log. And we'll do the same thing on the corners. And then on the side that you want your chimney, only build up four white wool towards the center and leave a gap for the chimney. On the other side, we'll build up our log and then fill in the entire thing with wool. On each side, we'll build up a four block tall oak log in the center. Then we'll build up with white wool four blocks tall with a one by two glass pane window in the center. So now we'll just repeat this over here. This is what it should look like from the outside. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. On the back side, we'll build up four oak logs in line with each of these logs. And then we'll build up these ones that stick out, only three. Go ahead and fill in these two block wide sections, and then in the center, we'll have a one by two window. Alright, next let's head around to the front side and build our chimney. Start by placing four brick blocks. Then on top we'll place a brick stair. Then going up one and in one we'll place four more brick blocks. And on top we'll just place a campfire and surround it with spruce trap doors. On top of this center section on the front side we'll build a 3x3 of spruce planks. And place one glass pane in the center. And then we'll place one spruce plank on top. Next we'll build up two five block tall oak logs sticking out by one. Then from the top here we'll place three sideways logs sticking out. Place a button on the end and then a lantern hanging from it. Then on these two shorter sides we'll place seven planks going across. Then on the next level we'll place two planks on each side and a glass pane in the center. Then three planks and then one. And from here we'll place two sideways logs sticking out with a button on the end and a lantern on the underside. And again we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Alright so that should be it for our walls. I'll just do a little fly around here in case you missed anything. And then we'll start building the roof. Alright, so let's start with the dark oak trim for our roof. So first of all, I'll place three dark oak slabs above these fence gates. Then I'll go across here with dark oak stairs and extend them out by one. Place an upside down stair here. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Next, take some dark oak top slabs all the way across here. And then we're just going to go up with dark oak stairs and upside down stairs until they meet in the center. And go ahead and place a dark oak trap door under the log, and on top we'll place a dark oak slab. 
So this is what the frame should look like, and now we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Then we'll take these dark oak slabs all the way across the top. On the back side, place two dark oak stairs on each side of these logs. Then place an upside down stair on each side, then a normal stair. This time we're going to place two upside down stairs on each side, then a normal stair on each side. In the center, we'll place an upside down stair with a slab on top. And then we'll place a full plank behind that upside down stair. And then you can place two more slabs going towards the center of the house. Next, let's connect this frame around. And same on the other side. Now let's go to the front side. Place a stair next to this oak log and then place one more here and make sure that's turned. Then place one more sticking out. Now I'll do the same thing on the other side. Then from here we'll go up with stairs and upside down stairs until they meet in the center. And place a slab at the top. Under here we'll place an extra upside down stair on each side and then two trap doors. Then let's place four more slabs here. Now we just have to fill in inside these frames with spruce planks. But first I'll fly around so you can see everything again. Alright, so now let's go ahead and fill this in. And now for the most important part, which is decorating. Let's start by placing a couple of flower pots by the front door with some flowers in them. Then I'm going to make a big oak leaf bush on each side of the stairway. And we really just want this to cover up the transition between the stone bricks and the wool. Next I'm just going to add some smaller oak leaf bushes scattered around the house. On these shelf-like things on the upper levels, I'm going to place three flower pots on each side, and inside I'll place some saplings and ferns. Now we can also add some oak leaf bushes on the roof of the house, and you can go ahead and replace some of these stairs with leaves, and don't worry about any holes because we'll fill them in from the inside.
Alright, so that's it for the exterior of this house. And now let's head inside, starting with the basement. So the basement will be mostly just storage. And let's start by placing a 3x3 of double chests on each side of these logs. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Next to the door we'll place a scaffold with a lantern. Then on this side we'll place a crafting table and two sideways barrels. Place a lantern here and then two trapdoors for a shelf. And on it we'll place an ender chest and a flower pot. Alright, and now let's head up to the second floor. And from this front entrance, on the right side of the house, let's start by placing a spruce stair right under this window. Then we'll go up with stairs and upside down stairs until you get to the fourth level. Then we'll place one more upside down stair here. Now we're going to take these upside down stairs across so that's one block away from the wall until it touches that front wall. Then we'll take them across this front wall. Place one spruce plank right here and no stair under it and then place two more stairs. From this back left log we'll place four spruce planks and that should be on the fourth block up. And then we'll fill in the rest of this with slabs. Directly under these four spruce planks we'll place four barrels. And then two fences to connect them on the end. In this backspace we'll place two blast furnaces and then a cauldron. Then we'll place two normal furnaces and a chest. Back here we'll place two trap doors for a shelf and then a double chest on top. I'll place an item frame with a pork chop on this furnace and then some candles on the other one. On these barrels let's place a cake. Then an oak pressure plate and then an empty flower pot. In this chimney space let's place a smoker and then two brick walls. Then I'll place an extinguished campfire next to it for some wood. Next to this log I'll place an armor stand and then some armor on it. And then let's place a lantern above that armor stand. On this log on the other side of the door I'll place two item frames and then a clock and a sword. Next under the staircase let's place a crafting table and then two bookshelves. Place a lantern on the crafting table and then a double chest on the shelves. Then right here let's place an item frame with a puffer fish. Between this log and the window let's place a spruce stair, and then three more going around this point. Directly above let's place an extra slab and then a lantern on top. Then in the center here we'll place a fence post and a pressure plate for a table. Diagonally from this armor stand I'll place one gray carpet, and we're going to make a sort of diagonal stripe pattern so let's place two green carpets, then three light gray, then three gray. Then we'll place three more green, two light gray, and one more gray. Obviously you can use any colors that you'd like, but that's it for the second floor. And now let's move up to the attic. So first of all let's place an enchanting table two blocks away from this window. I'll fill in some of these gaps with planks. And now we need a total of 15 bookshelves around the enchanting table. Next to the window I'll place a grindstone. Then I'll just place some bookshelves going around. This doesn't have to be exact. And I'm going to replace some of these bookshelves with looms just to look like empty shelves. And I think that should be 15. Let's just continue these planks along this wall. 
And let's place some planks on this side. Let's add an extra slab under this plank. Now let's place a row of planks at the very top here. And two here. Then we'll take some stairs going around. And two more stairs here. Another row of stairs here. And then one more row on the other side. And you'll actually want to skip this row just so we have more room. Next place a lantern directly above the enchanting table. Then we'll place two beds here. Let's place two trap doors at the foot of these beds. And then two signs on the side. Place a painting here where the staircase comes up. Then a double chest here next to the window. Then I'll place some candles here on the ground and you can light them if you want to. And finally we'll just add a railing using oak trap doors. Well, it looks like we're all done with this house, but if you want to keep building, I have two more houses here that I'd recommend if you wanted to make a sort of little village. One is by me, and one is by my friend Zentek. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.